part of throwing a great dinner party is setting a beautiful and inviting table for your guests. And that doesn't necessarily mean you have to run out and buy a bunch of expensive tableware or other gear in order to achieve that. We have a whole guide to folding chairs at wirecutter.com, but you can also use the chairs that you have already in your home. Pull every chair that'll possibly work around the table. Even if a chair seems a little short, just stick a throw pillow on it. Also the other thing too that you can bring in are side tables for putting like a salad or the, your bread or whatever else that if you need more table space, because this is a very small table. You could even use like a bar stool with like a tray on top, water pitchers don't have to live on the table. And if you live in a cool climate, you can always put wine in the window and it will keep it cool. You do that, right? I do that, yeah. I love it. Just line it up, line it all up in the window. <laughs> you don't need to buy a cooler, you don't need to buy ice. Well, you actually do need to buy ice, but that's another story. <laughs> you might not have enough plates to serve a party of over six people. That's fine, <laughs> because we all live that life. There are two different types of white plates on this table. There's the Pottery Barn Caterers Collection, which you can buy in a set of 12, comes in a nice little box. We also have the IKEA 365 plates, which are three bucks a pop, and you can just buy as many as you need. This is a great option, the IKEA 365. Totally. We also recommend some cheap flatware. So this is the Gourmet Settings Windermere flatware, and this is two bucks a pop. You can buy it open stock, so you can just go in and buy exactly the amount of flatware that you need. We should say, too, thrift stores always have dinnerware and flatware, and so if you are really on a budget, or you just need it really quickly and you don't have time for it to get shipped to you, you can always just run in and sort of mix and match everything, and it looks... It, it looks you can tie it all together and yeah. it looks really nice. But as you can tell, like this is the Windermere. This is an old Stanley Roberts Astro. This is a kitchen favorite. They don't make it anymore. And like, it's fine. <laughs> It's you can't fine. buy it. <laughs> <laughs> so we also have some glassware that we recommend here. This is the IKEA 365 Plus. It's a great, really inexpensive water glass. And we also recommend the Picardie. This is Duralex. These come in all different sizes. You can even get them as a water glass. But we find that this size is really nice for wine or for cocktails. And then we've even used like the really tiny ones as a, a votive. This is all about making do with what you have and buying only what you need. <laughs> I always happen to lose napkins somehow right. in the wash and every table I set now is two or three different types of napkins and it's fine. These um, crate and barrel FET napkins which are like three or four dollars a piece come in over 20 colors. Yeah, like, but that's, just but that's what we have. We can't have all the okay. colors. One day we'll have all the so speaking of table linens, we found this waffle weave bath towel on sale. Uh, we love the way it looked. And we can also use flower sack towels yeah, they're if you huge. didn't want to. You can like layer them. Yeah, just lay them ac yeah. across. These are super cheap. There um, are a few serving pieces that you will only use once, twice, maybe three times in a year. And one of those things is a gravy boat. Michael uses the small butter warmer from Donsk. We love it. We've it put it in two gift guides already. Yeah. It's yeah. more versatile than a gravy boat because this you can use for melting butter or like keeping sauces warm. And then the other thing that we really recommend is a large wood cutting board. You know, before dinner you can serve cheese on it. When you're done with your hors d'oeuvres, you can just take the whole board away, wipe it down, clean it, and then carve your turkey on the board. Um, and you don't need a platter, you can just serve the turkey directly on it. It's a really um, a versatile and, and useful piece to have. It's kind of my favorite serving piece, honestly, and I have yeah. a million. So this is our runner-up pick for casserole. It's great for like a little bit of a baked situation, like a side dish for four people. To me, this is one of the most versatile pieces yeah. we have. The bigger one, obviously, is also great because it, uh, makes, it makes a perfect size lasagna, in my opinion. Yeah. This one can go on the table, and like this one can go on the buffet if you don't want this like on the table. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can tell that we did not buy any fresh flowers for this lovely dinner party that we are about to throw. And you don't have to either. Honestly, a centerpiece is nice, but keep it small and keep it low. This is like a little bundle of dried, beautiful flowers we picked up like three weeks ago. Also, if you don't have yeah, that. Yeah, if you don't have that, if you just want to like use a plant that you already have in your home, that works too. Like you don't have to have fresh flowers. I There's love a, this thing. a lot thing. of different options. And so we just have some air plants here on this lovely little bowl. Like, this works too. But it's nice and low, so you can mm -hmm. see everyone across the table from you, you can, and you can reach really nice. if, if you want a little bit of salt. 
<laughs> for good luck, for good luck. <laughs> I've always been entertaining on a shoestring, so this is how these skills are developed through necessity. But it also feels like warmer and... I love cozy. I love pillows. I love throws, mm -hmm. I love soft things, I like people to want to linger around the table as long as yeah. possible because I'm a sucker for conversation and wine. Yeah. Keep the wine flowing. Yes. There's truth in wine. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some salt? Would you like some gravy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a high five. <laughs> Yay!